Hey, hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you? Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. Are you ready? Puse palabra, tenía la palabra. Ya está. Hombre, no debes darle bien. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to transportation. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's start by listening and repeating. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. One, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi. Take a cab. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? And a possible answer may be, I drive to work. Or I take the bus to work. The idea here is to use the vocabulary. Which is hard. So I would make sentences with all the expressions and also I would like for you to think about the next question as well what are some transportation so let me write that question here for you. what are some other kinds of transportation the last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. 
So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. All right, guys, we're going to repeat one more time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to transportation. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's start by listening and repeating. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. One, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, Take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi, take a cab. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? And a possible answer may be, I drive to work, or I take the bus to work. The idea here is to use the vocabulary that we just learned, so I would encourage you to make sentences with all the expressions, and also I would like for you to think about the next question as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here, in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and practice the conversation right here at the top. Repeat after me. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job. No, no, it's, it's my, my sister. 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 Has she has a new job. job. And she drives to work. And, and she, she drives, drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? In her in job her here in the suburbs? In the suburbs? No, it's downtown. No, it's downtown. No, it's downtown. It's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The bus or the train. The, or the, train. Or the, train. the train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. It's really slow. It's really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. Too bad. All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to the pronunciation of the conversation in this conversation right here? 
Do you have any questions related to the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any of the words right here in the conversation? No. Suburbs? Repeat. Suburbs. Suburbs. Downtown. 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 Transportation. Transportation. Near. 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 Hour. Hour. Low. 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 Any questions related to the conversation on the topic? All right. At this moment, I would like for everybody to please take a couple of minutes and I would like for you to practice the conversation in pairs. Practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. No, no, no. I said, are you ready? Is everybody ready? All right. You will have five minutes and then you will present the conversation as a group. Let's go. All right, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. All right, Dania, Ashley. Jose, Jason. Read the conversation, please. All right, we're going to listen to the conversation one more time. Listen, please. This listen, please. Along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to transportation. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's start by listening and repeating. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. 
One, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi. Take a cab. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? And a possible answer may be, I drive to work. Or I take the bus to work. The idea here is to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So I would encourage you to make sentences with all the expressions. And also I would like for you to think about the next question as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. All right, now I would like for two volunteers, two volunteers, one Ashley, one Jason, two volunteers. Manuel, hagámoslo nosotros. Oh, bueno, Bye. I'm Jason. Bye. Okay, you're Jason. Yes. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, that's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they, they take the bus in really slow. That's too bad. All right, very good. Does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? All right, let me have two volunteers, two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Let me have, all right, Astrid. Astrid, you are Ashley. Astrid. Sí. Empieza entonces. Perfecto. Nice car, Jason. It is you. 
No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job her in the store bus? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train don't say to new or use suit. The date the box is really low. That's so bad. Very good. Perfect. Everybody repeat. House. 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 Okay. So um, in this activity, you're going to write uh, in esta actividad. Eh, les va a quedar de tarea. Van a escribir acá un una conversación muy similar como Ashley y Jason y la van a escribir aquí en esta parte discussion that's your homework activity 1.2 by the end of this class you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs Al final de esta clase serán capaces de hacer oraciones en presente simple utilizando verbos regulares. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And um, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we're talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. 
In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use does not at this moment. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions at this moment? No. Rosenberg, do you have any questions at this moment? Rosenberg? No, ninguna pregunta. Todo bien. Okay. ¿Qué entiende del video? De las reglas de la S. Eh, que cuando son terceras personas se le agrega S a los verbos eh, uh -huh. a excepción de cuando lleva el, el auxiliar eh, don o dos uh -huh. uh -huh. alright, very good very good um, select somebody Rosenberg perdón Selecciona a una persona Rosenberg. Para participar. That's right. Uh, pues, el ingeniero José Riverto Martínez. Ingeniero José Riverto Martínez. Hello. Hello. ¿Qué entendió Hello. del video? Bueno, este, no me quedó muy claro, pero. Eh, ¿Quieres que lo repita? Four, please. Okay, one more time. Ready, everybody pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, we need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is subject. Walk is verb. School. To school. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well. And that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and 
it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we're talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and thus. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use does not for the pronouns he, she, and it. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples. I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you All right. Now for this activity, you are going to give me three examples. Three examples here in the discussion forum. Tres ejemplos in a discussion forum. Con el do he does. Any questions? Cuantos ejemplos? Three. 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 That's right. Three. Any questions? Three. Any questions? Any questions? Serían tres ejemplos con do y dos. That's right. That is Thank correct. You. Vamos a, nos vamos a la plataforma. Yes, on the platform. Yes. Yeah.
Sí. Yes. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. In pairs. Voy a bajar aquí el, la imagen y voy a tratar de entrar a la plataforma. Okay. Mucho gusto, Sara. Soy, soy Manuel. Yo, Sara, sí, un gusto. Usted no estaba en el grupo anterior, ¿verdad, Manuel? Nos cambiaron de grupo. Sí, nos cambiaron, es cierto. Ya, ya este, hice un, un grupo mixto, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Yo, yo estaba en el que estaba anteriormente, fíjate que solo estábamos del, de la institución. Ahora estamos ya más, eh, estamos mezclados eh, eh, con otras empresas, quizás. Pero... Sí, yo, yo soy por Insafor. Yo, yo igual, yo igual, a través de Insafor. Ah, pero usted dice que estaba solo de su institución. Sí. Correcto. Quiero ver dónde está el video de la práctica. Creo que es el segundo video, ¿verdad? Sí, es el segundo. Porque no sé cómo usted lo puede ver. Yo lo abro. Sí, y, tal, y, y si puede compartir, porque ahorita tengo un, un problema que estoy conectado solo en el teléfono. This class is very helpful for right now. Let's get started by usted se publicar cómo compartirlo porque ya tengo aquí. I don't far from you. don't live near here. Victoria, ¿cómo comparto aquí? Pero es este video que estoy participando. Ajá, esto es lo que quiero compartir. Se escucha una interferencia, ¿verdad? Sí, lo único que yo fíjese eh, es para que yo escuche interferencia. Escucho otras dos conversaciones. Ah, qué pena. Pero si quiere escuchamos el video, tratamos de hacer lo que podamos. Ok, ok. Subject, buzzword, compliment. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. And uh, to school is the complex. Let's take a look at uh, our. You is subject. Right is. 
is e4, y to the goal is the complement. There is a particular rule that like explains well, and that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to third person, we're talking about he, she, and so the rule is the simple person. Whenever we make statements with third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular E works near here. Instead of work, we make words. And once this is because we're talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of the person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. What is the ad after the word? Now, I would like to show it how we can form negative statements in this sentence. In order to understand this a bit, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and thus. We're going to use not for the pronouns I, you, me, and they. We're going to use the not for the pronouns he, she, and and the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now, we write the formula. We're going to have a subject plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples. I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. He doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't is the auxiliary verb. This is the third person that we were talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. This is a lot for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, No sé si todavía está ahí. Sí, 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 que estaba viendo el video. Vale, porque Segundo. tendríamos que hacer aquí, aquí eh, la práctica, ¿verdad? Sí, en la práctica, utilizar el, el do y doesn't o el do o el does. 
el, el, el doesn't, ¿verdad? O el does not, o el do not. Ajá, según la, que según aquí, la... no hay... aquí está, aquí ahí, tenemos que meterla. Ahí. Aquí. Si lo hiciéramos con el, eh, con el do. Ay, no. Uh -huh. sí. ah, con el don, ajá. I don't este, take, yo acá, ponemos take. Yo acá tenía ponemos una, decía, I don't like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, ajá. Yo tenía acá una que dice, I don't like the cheese. Uh, eh. All right, I know everybody's not finished, but that's okay. We're gonna go to the next activity, knowledge check, section 1.4, knowledge check. Instructions, complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. You're going to select the correct verb. For example, my family and I live, lives oh, yeah. in the suburbs. The correct answer is live. Live. All right. You will have okay. five minutes to complete the activity. Any questions? No, no, thanks. All right. We're going to change partners. We're going to change partners. You will have five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Hi, hello, good night. No le escucho, don José. Hola, hola, hoy sí. Hoy sí. ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches, un gusto, un placer. ¿Cómo Gracias, está? igual. Muy bien, mire por aquí. Entendí porque cuando nos salimos tarde, ¿verdad? Tenemos que llenar la plataforma. Entonces yo sí la tengo abierta. Vamos a llenar la 1.4. Okay, entonces uh, dice conversation one. My uh -huh. family and I. Y el, las elecciones son live o lives. Entonces aquí vamos live. a ocupar. Live. Ajá, que es live. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, in the suburbs. Ah, chivo, gracias. Okay. Ah, si, si querés te puedo, puedo compartir mi pantalla. No, eso fue el que está moviendo ahí, no. Está viendo mi pantalla. Estaba, estaba hace unos minutos. ¿Ahorita? No puedo. Voy a compartir mi pantalla. Dale, gracias. Ah. Chivo, chivo. Ok, ahí sí. Sí. Okay. Sí, sí. Entonces, eh, luego está my, my wife, N.A. Eh, works o work near here. Siguiendo la regla. Eh, words con S. Se le ah, no, word, S no con... perdón, sí, sí. My wife es, and es I work. work. Es exacto. Ajá. Sí. Correcto. Entonces sería. Eh, so we. My wife and I. Ajá. Ajá ok. So we walk. So we work. Walk. O oh, work, ok. Ajá. So we work to work. Ajá. Ok. Y luego tenemos eh, our daughter Emily. Ahí sí, con ese, works. Eh, con ese, correcto. Works downtown. Yeah. Ok. So she drives. Drive. No, drive. Con ese. Ajá. No, es con, sin ese, ajá. So, she no, drives con ese. Work. Con ese. Ajá. ¿Así? Ah, sí. ah, correcto, sí. Ok. Eh, our son. Dasen. Porque esto es he. Nuestros. Hablando. Nuestros. No, nuestro hijo. Nuestros. Nuestro hijo. Ajá. Nuestro sí. hijo no maneja. No maneja, ajá. Mm -hmm. Our son doesn't drive. Exacto. Ok. Eh, he he rides. Right. 
He rides his bike. No. Um, no es con ese. Ver. Es que déjame entiendo ver. yo que el S se ocupa cuando son terceras personas. Es sí, she, it. Ah, correcto, sí, sí. Ok, entonces sí. Pero no sé si estoy en lo correcto. Pero puedo revisar atrás en, en el. Solo voy a ah, guardar sí. esto. Déjame. Ah, tengo que completarlos. Sí, tengo que completarlos. Si eh, querés podemos ver el video. Después. Veamos si no salen buenas. No, porque así lo. No, mejor <risa> si lo no salen en verde. Solo. Sí, pues si no salen en verde, es que están buenos. Pero que hay que terminarlos. Okay. Dale, terminémoslo. By my parents. Eh... Oh, one day, vamos. Sí, va. Uh -huh. Live. My parents. <coughs> live, live. In, in the city. The city. My mother, my mother takes, takes a train to work. Takes, takes. Ella, uh -huh. Uh -huh, sí. uh -huh. My father, uh, my father is, is retired. So, so he, he doesn't, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, he also uses. Use Uses. Uses public transportation. Uh -huh. Okay, so they don't. Don't, uh -huh. near a car. Near a car. Veamos. Yes. Está bien. Está bien. Okay, solo lo repetimos entonces. Va, démosle. Okay. Uh, my family and I live in the suburbs. Dale, mm -hmm. Vaya. My wife and I work near here. Okay. So we walk to work to work. Our daughter Emily works downtown. Okay. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. My my parents live in the city. Okay, my mom, my mother takes a train to work. My father is retired, retired, so he doesn't work now. Okay, he also uses public transportation. So they don't. Ni a car. Ok. Vaya. Una vez más. Démosle. Hoy yo el primero y tú el segundo. Dale. Vaya. My family and I live in the suburbs. Uh -huh. Suburbs. Uh -huh. Suburbs. Uh, my wife and I work near here. So we walk to work. Ok. Our daughter. Emily works downtown. So she drives to work. Uh, our son doesn't drive. He rides uh, his bike to a school. Okay. Uh, my parents live in the city. Uh, uh, my mother takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He also uses public transportation. So they don't near a, need a car. Need. Uh -huh. Need a car. Okay. Vaya, chivo. De nuevo. Hoy voy okay. primero. Vaya. My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here. So we work to work. Or that Emily works downtown. So she drives to work. Uh, or son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. My parents live in the city. It takes a train to work. 
My father is retired, so he doesn't work now. He has used public transportation. So they don't need a car. Okay. Okay, mañana va para por el sol. Tenemos tiempo, creo, todavía. ¿Sí? Ah, vaya, da igual. <ríe> ¿Vos también vas? Sí, voy para Marazán. Se supone que a las ah, dos nos vamos ah, a ir. Ah, ¿cómo vas con Margarita, va? Ajá. No, no sé. Yo, Yo creo que sí. Por... Pero nos tardamos como cinco horas en llegar. Sí, sí, bien lejos. Mira, yo he ido hasta Rampala. Y sí, nos llevamos como cuatro horas y media. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Dónde vamos a ir? Bueno, ustedes van a ir a la cafetalera, pero nos vamos a quedar en un hotel en Ojo Cuaitique. Pues sí. A de veras. Uh -huh. Pero vamos a ir a Sosicala, ¿verdad? Más lejos todavía. Ah, no manches. Hijo <risa> <risa> eh, pues, de bueno, de modo, hacerle ahí sí. al traserito porque no va, no va a llevar tiempo. <risa> Sí, ni modo. Démosle la última, voy a comenzar yo. Dale, pa. Ok. My family and I live in the suburbs. My wife and I work near here. So we work to work. Our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides his bike to school. Uh, my parents live in the city. My mother takes a train to work. Uh, my father and my father is retired, so he doesn't work down now. Uh, he yells. Uh, fíjate que tengo una duda. Es he also. Right? Also. Es que uh -huh. se escucha He como uses. es que se escucha como como la e como la a de si escribe uh -huh. also oh, uh -huh. also bueno es, es que hay unas palabras use... <laughs> ajá ajá He also use public transportation ajá so they don't need a car es como esa de Dara a mí me cuesta Dara uh -huh. ajá Dara, Dara. No que nada que ver vale, cuando se escribe. Vaya, llámale. <ríe> Hay varias. Sí. sí, my family and I live in the suburbs. 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 Ah, ese es otro. Suburbs. Uh -huh. Suburbs. Uh -huh. uh, my wife and I work near here. So, we walk to work. Uh, our daughter Emily works downtown. So she drives to work. Our son doesn't drive. He rides uh, his bike to school. Démosle salir ya. Porque ya me All right. Let me have the first participants. Let me have the first volunteer. Sammy? No, my wife and I. My, my, my wife work. and I work, work. near here. Work. Work. Very good. That is work. S. ¿Por qué no lleva una S? Porque habla de nosotros. Good. That's right, wow. porque es plural. plural. Yes. Porque es plural. Si fuera singular, fuera works. Pero como es plural, no lleva es. Escucha mucha interferencia. Ah, uh, sí, ya los silencié. All right, the next one. Water. All right, Jose Roberto, Jose Rigoberto, le voy a pedir que mantenga el micrófono en silencio. Gracias. All right, the next one. 
so we so we, we walk, walk to work walk, walk to work. work correct our daughter emily works works works, works. works. singular singular como es singular lleva s works so she drives 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 como es singular noun singular it is drive Uh, los voy a poner en silencio porque se escucha mucha interferencia. Mucha interferencia. All right, one more time. The next one. Our son doesn't doesn't drive. He rides, 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 rides his bike. My parents live 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 live. live. My mother takes, takes, me. takes right to work. singular. Takes. My father is retired, so he doesn't doesn't, doesn't. doesn't very work good. now. Doesn't work now. He also use use uses yes. uses yes. public transportation. transportation. So they don't, 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 don't need, a need a car. A car. Perfect. So, any questions about this activity? No. Okay. No, I have it. No. All right. Check, please. Now we are going to be looking at using irregular verbs, irregular verbs. So you have two different types of verbs. Regular verbs, for example, walk, simple past, walked, regular verb. Eat, take, mm -hmm. simple present, Eight. Eight. Simple past. Irregular. Talk. Simple present. Regular. Regular. Talked. Simple past. Run. Simple present. Run. Ran. Simple past. Irregular. So we're going to be looking at the regular and irregular verbs. Are you ready? Listen, please. No se escucha, teacher. It's not sound. I cannot hear. No, just to turn on.
No se escucha Don't listen, nada. teacher. No se escucha, pro. Don't listen. Creo que hasta ahí la de tener en silencio la computadora, por eso no nos oye. Don't hear any. Hola, alguien hoy. Yo. All right. No. El video no tiene sonido. No okay. se escuchó nada del video. Oh, you couldn't hear it? Okay, we're going to repeat it. Simple present statements using easy. <laughs> Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs. Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English. And irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. All right, guys. So we're going to stop right here. So that's going to be your homework for tomorrow all right <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow guys good night bye bye, bye. thank you goodbye goodbye, goodbye teacher bye. Bye.